Yashar Jasher 71. And when Moshe was 18 years old, he desired to see his father and mother. And he went to them to Goshen. And when Moshe had come near Goshen, he came to the place where the children of Yashadael were engaged in work. And he observed their burdens. And he saw a Mitzri smiting one of his Ivri brethren. And when the man who was beaten saw Moshe, he ran to him for help. For the man Moshe was greatly respected in the house of Pharaoh. And he said to him, My Lord, attend to me. This Mitzri came to my house in the night, bound me, and came to my woman in my presence. And now he seeks to take my life away. And when Moshe heard this wicked thing, his anger was kindled against the Mitzri, and he turned this way and the other. And when he saw there was no man, there he smote the Mitzri and hid him in the sand and delivered the Ivri from the hand of him that smote him. And the Ivri went to his house, and Moshe returned to his home, and went forth, and came back to the king's house. And when the man had returned home, he thought of repudiating his woman, for it was not right in the house of Yaakov for any man to come to his woman after she had been defiled. And the woman went and told her brothers, and the woman's brothers sought to slay him, and he fled to his house and escaped. And on the second day, Moshe went forth to his brethren and saw, and behold, two men were quarreling, and he said to the wicked one, Why do you smite your neighbor? And he answered him and said to him, Who has set you for a prince and judge over us? Do you think to slay me as you did slay the Mitzri? And Moshe was afraid, and he said, Surely the thing is known. And Pharaoh heard of this affair, and he ordered Moshe to be slain. So Elohim sent his angel, and he appeared unto Pharaoh in the likeness of a captain of the guard. And the angel of Yahuwah took the sword from the hand of the captain of the guard and took his head off with it. For the likeness of the captain of the guard was turned into the likeness of Moshe. And the angel of Yahuwah took hold of the right hand of Moshe and brought him forth from Mitzrayim, and placed him from without the borders of Mitzrayim, a distance of forty days' journey. And Aharon, his brother, alone remained in the land of Mitzrayim. And he prophesied to the children of Yashara'el, saying, Thus says Yahuwah Elohim of your ancestors, Throw away each man the abominations of his eyes, and do not defile yourselves with the idols of Mitzrayim. And the children of Yashara'el rebelled and would not hearken to Ahran at that time. And Yahuwah thought to destroy them, were it not that Yahuwah remembered the covenant which he had made with Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. In those days, the hand of Pharaoh continued to be severe against the children of Yashara'el, and he crushed and oppressed them until the time when Elohim sent forth his word and took notice of them.